In this video, we will show how to assemble the kit of creation of man. There are the images of Adam and God, man and God, and their hands are connected to gears. As you turn the gears, the hands come closer and further apart. In the kit you will find the instructions, the uh, main scene board, two parts for the background, so go over here, the pieces for God's image and Adam's image, and the gears. Also in the bag you will find a small plastic bag. In the plastic bag you will find some sanding paper, yellow carpenter's glue, and few wooden pins. On each one of them there is a number that says the, indicates the length of the pin in millimeters. In the instructions you will say, you see, that it will instruct you to take pin number 16 and use it. So you take the pin that says 16, which means 16 millimeters. Step number one. Take the back, backboard piece, part number one. Take part number two and three. They go over here and glue them to their places according to their marks. Step number two, take part 23 and glue it to its place. Step number three, take piece number 28 out. Push out the small circle, piece number 29. Stand the connection lightly and also the hole. Till it perfectly smooth. Step number four, take dowel pin num size 11, and glue it into the hole of the circle that you took out of the gear, this number 29. Use a scrap paper to apply the glue and a toothpick to put the glue in the hole. Step number five, take piece number eight, it's a ring, and glue it on the small circle in piece number 29. Do not put too much glue. Step number six, 
take pieces number 15 and 18. Glue piece 18 on piece 16 in the marked place. Step number seven. Take piece number 27, which is the other small gear, not the one that we already used, and dowel size 16. Apply glue and glue the pin in the hole. Take two washers, part number 14, you can see there are a few of them. And slide them on the pin. No need to glue. Step number eight, take part number 10 and dowel size nine, glue the dowel in the hole of the part. Now notice that you glue it on the back side of the part, that it will look like this, not like that, like this. Step number nine, take pieces number 28 and 29, which you made in steps four and five. Put the pin inside the hole like this, so it can rotate smoothly. Take piece number nine, glue and insert the pin in the hole of the palm. Use really small amount of glue. See that it rotates. Now take piece number six, which is the thumb. and glue it on top of the pin. The hand should be able to rotate freely. Step number 10, take piece number 18, which you prepared in step 6, and the thin dowel, put the hand facing down, this way, and glue the dowel inside the hole. Take piece number 22. Now you would like to slide the pin inside the hole here. See that you put it in the right direction, means it will be facing down like the hand, and it should look like this. 
Now, take the small washer, piece number 13. There are two of them, but you will need only one. Apply a little glue and put it on the small pin. Now you would like to put very small amount of glue. The hand should be able to rotate freely after you put it, like this. Also after the glue dries. Step number 11. Take piece number 4 and pin size 9 and glue it inside. Now, take piece number 9 that you made in step 9 and put the pin inside the arm like this. Now, take another washer, part number 14, and glue it on the pin to hold it in place. Do not use too much glue and be careful not to glue the parts of the arm to each other. After the glue set, they should be able to rotate freely like this. Step number 12. Take the part that you made in step 10 and double number 9. Again, apply some glue to the, to the hole and put double inside. Now you should notice that you put the head facing down this way and not the other way around. Not like this, like this. Take piece number 17, insert the dowel to the hole in the elbow. Now see that the piece is facing down like the rest of the pieces, should go like this. Now take piece number 14, another washer and glue it carefully to the dowel. Don't use too much glue. At the end, the pieces should be able to rotate, to move like this. Step 13, take piece number 16, which you just made in the last step, and piece number 27, which you made in step 7. Put them together like this. Take another washer, number 14, and glue it over here on the dowel. Again, make sure that the pieces are not glued to each other and that they can rotate freely after it. It should be able to move like this. Step 14. In this step, we will prepare the gears. Take the three gears, which you prepared in 
earlier stage, stages and you hear that in here is number 26 three dowels number 16 now put the gears facing down and to each of them glue a dowel to the hole Step number 15. Take the large gear, part number 26, put it in the hole here. Now take part number 5 and glue it on piece number 2 according to the markings. Step 16, take the gear that you made in, stay in step 11 and put the axle in the hole here. On the large gear there is an arrow. It should point to the arrow, to the right arrow on the center gear. This way you know that they are aligned. You can see that there is another arrow that will point to the gear that we will add here. So this one should point to this. Align the hole in the arm with a hole in the red piece in the back, like this. Now glue piece number 10 which you made in step 8 with the dowel inside the hole according to the mark. Step 17. Take the part that you made in uh, step 30. Insert the axle to its hole the left hole and align align the arrow with the arrow on the other gear on the center gear now apply glue in the in this space and glue the body according to the markings Step 18. After the glue dries, take the whole seam, turn it around so it will be facing down. Now take washers number 25 and put them on the axles of the gears. You don't need to glue them and you want them to be not too loose. Leave a paper thin slot between the washer and the board itself. See, check that the arrows are positioned correctly and that the grid moves smoothly. If they don't, Adjust the washers again until it rotates smoothly like this.
step 19. Glue the rest of the pieces to the marked places. You may want to support the leg with a piece of wood. 